Hey everyone. I'm in my brother-in-law's truck today because he's taking my truck in. I just wanted to just say for the record, that snake put tires on my truck like three months, two months ago. And he's got to bring it in to put some, you know, running boards on it or whatever they call them. Because the other ones are rusting. And he asked me why he's on the way out of my shop. Oh, hey, do you need the tires on there? What a snake. He's the kind of guy that gives the auto industry a bad name. I mean, people like Seth are down there struggling, honest, making an honest living, and my brother-in-law is trying to screw me for another set of tires. It's unbelievable. Clearly, he's still being sanctified. Okay, here's my uh, read for today. It's... Um, Ephesians 4, I'm going to start at 14. It says, That we hereafter be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every, kind, every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they live in wait to deceive. And I just want to make one quick point on that. You see that all over. We know that. Um, how many times do you hear people talk about getting this book or that book? Um, like this new book is going to give them some type of insight or something. And more energy is being put into reading the books the world has to offer than the Word of God. And I'm not saying all books are bad. I'm not saying that at all. It's just that when you are lopsided, when you're upside down in your time spent reading the word versus reading you know this new thing or this new insight that's a problem because then you're you are you're being subject to being deceived by fine sounding arguments um, because that's what we see out there is half truth and uh, you know filled with lies and deceit and that's what it's saying here you need to grow up and mature and not be tossed to and fro um, because the truth is in the word okay you don't need some other new insight okay the truth is right here now it's also referenced in Hebrews right so I'm gonna to jump to Hebrews chapter 5 uh, verse 13 it says for everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness for he is a babe but strong meat belongs to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. And actually I wanted to start at 12, so I'm going to jump up there real quick. For when for a time you ought to be teachers, okay, we should be, you know, sharing the gospel by now, teaching by now, telling people about Jesus, okay, you have the need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. Okay. Now I want to jump to verse 17 back in Ephesians 4. It says, This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord. You hereafter walk not as other Gentiles walk. We're supposed to look different. We're supposed to walk different. Everything should be different. Okay, we're not supposed to walk like the unsaved and the world does. In the vanity of their mind, having the, understa having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them, because the blindness of their heart. And some versions call it, you know, say the hardness of their heart. Their heart is hardened to the truth. You see, we all walked in ignorance. There's no doubt about that. The Word makes that clear in your former way of ignorance. When we become saved, our, our, our past life is considered our former way of ignorance. So we are all at one point ignorant. But here are these people, because their hearts are hardened and the blindness of their heart they continue in ignorance. Okay? Let me read that again. Having the understanding their understand the understanding darkened, 
being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Verse 19, who being past feeling have become, have given themselves over to lasciviousness. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Lasciviousness to the work all, to work all uncleanness with greediness. But you, you who are saved, you are born again, sold out to Jesus, surrendered to Christ. But you have not so learned Christ. If so, be that you have heard him and have been taught by him as a truth in Jesus that you put off concerning the former manner of life put it off the old man former manner of life the old man which is corrupt according to deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that you put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. So the new man, the man is, that is born again, regenerated by the Holy Spirit, is going to be holy and righteous. As his word said, be holy as I am holy. Happy 50th on the 3365ers. Is that gold or something? I think that's a gold. We'll look for our gold bracelet or whatever we get, Jeff. So thank you for that. And the guys in the 40-day challenge, keep on keeping on. It's been a blessing. And uh, talk to you guys later. See ya. Hey, I forgot to mention Jimbo. This is for Jimbo and your truck I got. I'm going to drive this thing like I stole it. Just for being a snake. See ya.